Hello? 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 Are we there? Are we live? Yes. Is it happening? Can you hear us? Can you see us? If you can, I can. I can see. I can. Good see, for you. I can see. <laughs> stream one, stream two, stream three. We have three streams going. Yes. Right? Yes. If we keep <laughs> going this way, we're going to have like 20 soon Why enough. Why do you have three streams going? We have three streams going because <laughs> something doesn't work all the time. And there's a good chance that one of those three Hello? things is going to work. Hello? Oh, if we keep going this way, we're going to have like... Okay. We have to, I have okay. To. Jeez. We have three streams going. Okay, going that's way, cool. Do you, do you it's not turning off now. It's not stopping. Just, just checking the, the sound on Facebook to see okay, if I it's have going to through. I have to check the sound because there's nobody there to go, it's okay. <laughs> There's nobody there. Nobody's listening to us. Well, people come back later on and listen to it, but but there's no other way of finding that out. That's only the first stream, though. So. And I have to check the second stream before we can go live. Yes, yes, do that. Check um, YouTube, see if we're audible um, and visible and everything that we need to be. Okay. Uh, here's the YouTube stream coming up. Yes, yes, do that. Check YouTube, see yeah. if we're okay. audible okay. and visible and it sounds okay. No, that's your mic. Okay, that's my mic. Yes, that's you have to mic. listen to you have to listen to both mics. Just because your sound is okay does not mean that, that my your sound, sound is, is okay. okay. Yeah, you okay. keep saying you keep going, Yes, 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 that's great. Yes, 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 that's great. Yes. <laughs> when <laughs> when when, when that's like five percent of it. Like that monkey right? with the <laughs> It's it's like, like it's like I'm starving. I haven't eaten for a hundred, hundred days. All we've got left is one nut. Yes, 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 yes. yes, 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 yes that's okay. Yes, yeah. It's cool. It's great. Have the nut. Monkey nuts. Have the monkey nut. <laughs> if that's gonna make you feel better. Sorry, sorry, people on YouTube. I don't mean turning my back on you. I was just you wanting just, to you look are, my. You're, you're turning your back on everyone. Look, my darling, eye to eye. Because he's had a very difficult day and he's done a very good job with all these technical streams being all set up here. We haven't started yet. <laughs> what do you mean we haven't started yet? Well, It's well, live, right? Yeah, but for the podcast we have to do an introduction. Oh, oh so you want me to shut up? Or no. Do no. <laughs> no. Finally. <laughs> Just have to Finally. say it. Just say it. Well, I didn't want to... I didn't want to jump into your didn't want to jump into your conversation you did, did. Your, your monologue there <laughs> my one 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 to one on one conversation mm -hmm. okay if you hear any strange noises in the background we are living in a zoo uh, we've moved the studio to a zoo and um, we've, we've got the space next to the monkeys so um, There's a baboon on the sofa. We've got monkeys on one side and bulldozers on the other, right? So. But um, we love them very much. They're wonderful. One of the bulldozers, bulldozers came monkeys. through here a little while ago. And bulldozed everything. Yes, <laughs> knocked everything. No, it didn't knock everything over. That's an exaggeration. Will, can you help her? Not quite a lot of the important. Please. You don't want him help. Here's his help. Okay, we did live real-time parenting. Okay, never mind. She wants help, but she doesn't want help from any of her siblings. <laughs> can yes. William help you? William's big and strong. Your brother's big Will and strong. Will can help you get on. Yeah, and if he can help you this time, he'll be able to help you next time as well. Think about that. Then you won't need us at all. William is stronger than me. don't know about that. I do know that he dances in a funnier way. <laughs> Even though I've <laughs> continually asked him to stop doing that in front of me. I don't know what I can do about that when I like the specific requests that I have. Maybe we could maybe we could book him a dancing lessons. Maybe we so could So he's got uh, some dance output. Well that was supposed to be the judo, wasn't it? Yeah. Wasn't, wasn't the, the judo supposed to be the ju judo and gymnastics and everything and you're supposed to get everything all We'll see if he likes that. I think I think he's what is she saying mine, 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 mine for? See, are we gonna Everything. To She's tired and yes. grumpy. Can I say that when I'm tired and grumpy as well? Mine! Oh, oh you I say I other I things. <laughs> you say the F word quite a lot when you're tired and grumpy. Food. 
Don't lean, yeah, on, don't exactly. lean on that. I'm not leaning. No, I'm not. Don't I'm just moving because these cables. Every, every, because everything I've might happen again. Yay. And if it does... You're going to kill me. I'm going, He's no, going to kill I'm me, people. I'm going to the kitchen for another bowl of muesli. That's going <laughs> to come down after, after the last disaster. <laughs> he, needed right. a, he needed a shot of muesli. <laughs> I did. If, if we had had it out, if, if there was any alcohol in this flat, it would have been drunk at that point. There's that medicine in the bathroom. No, there's not. <laughs> you drank the medicine. I forgot the medicine. When? When? What do, you mean, what do you mean when? But the other day when there was a disaster <laughs> with <laughs> the technical <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> every, oh every two or three hours I have to run to the bathroom. And I don't know what I don't know how this man is coping with all this technical stuff. My head would have exploded about three times already if I had to deal with it it's myself. There's pieces of green on the wall over there. It's is that my, yours? It's my brain. <laughs> Seriously, my best is just brains, but Jazzy is now amazing. wandering around the flat with the binoculars. Of course she is. Don't play with her papers, Zora. I'm swimming on the carpet. And Will is swimming through the carpet because... That's what you do. That's what you do. That's what you do on Monday evening. Na naturally. Well, maybe you, can, maybe you can actually learn to learn to swim, kind of. Hi everybody, sense. this is the Practical well, Parenting. Well, <laughs> Welcome. Zora, could you stop kicking your sister please? Zora, you're moving, you're oh moving my her papers. God. You're, ki you're kicking her. Can you just come over to this side Zorinka. please? Thank you. Can you come you. over here? Thank you very much so that you don't do that to her, to her to papers. to keep them apart today because it's like wild baboons. All three of them. That's yeah. insane. This is absolutely insane. Put Zora's them going together. To you know that. And don't ruin all my paper. Yeah. They've all been qu quite weirdly edgy today. Yeah? Yeah. It's probably because they didn't get out yesterday. So it was... Because we were... What do you mean they didn't get out yesterday? Did they get out yesterday? Didn't they? No, they didn't get out at all yesterday. I took them shopping. All three That's of them. That's not really going out, though, is it? Going shopping with the kids. Oh, no, I know, but I was at least so a little bit. Okay, peaceful. Here comes... here. If she touches that, everything's hmm? going to crash. Wait a second, again. darling, you know, okay? I'm going to go and solve problem. the problem, darling. Can I do that? Are you going to be okay? I know that you're not feeling very energized today, but I... If you don't go now, there's going to be an even bigger problem than we already have. So, once again... There you go. This is real-time parenting. We are. Is it possible that you could lead Zora into another room because she's just getting louder and louder and louder and louder, and I don't actually know why she's uh, why she's doing that. Okay. All right. I will. Do you want to come and join me, mate? I'd really like that, but. You have to follow my instructions very carefully because I've built this studio in the corner of the uh, the living room here, which means you're not allowed to touch any of the pieces of wood or any of the cables. Yeah, so you have to come in very carefully. But I know that you're good at things like that. So let's just move this over here. No, 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 no. Don't put your hand on that. Climb up on the stool here and sit down. You're doing this the Okay, do it kind of on the sit down, swing your legs around. Okay, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Wow. Now we're gonna get this mic on. Okay, can you put it over your ears? Don't grab the cable. Just grab Put it over your ears, okay. I think it's okay. Okay, put it over yours. That's fine. That's fine. Let go of it. Let go of it. Okay. Put this down the side. Okay. And one of the rules we have is we don't play with the cable. Okay. Okay. Because the cables are built by Daddy, and Daddy is not a very technical kind of. Daddy's not a very technical kind of person. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep my hand here because it's designed for your. The microphone is designed for your mother, not you. So, I need you to count to five, and we'll see if your audio is going through. Okay. I need you to count to five for me, okay? So, when? go. Yeah, that's it. 
One, two, three, four, five. Can you be a bit louder? Can you do it again? A bit louder. A bit more energy. One, two, three, four, five. Bit louder. A bit more energy. Again. Please. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. That was a bit better. That was a bit better. You've got to learn to project your voice more. Symbol of confidence and authority. When I was studying theatre in London, one of the biggest problems I had was voice projection. I was on the stage, but I wasn't projecting my voice, so I had to learn how to do it. There are various techniques. We can't do them here today, but we'll work on them again in the future. Right. Um, I was looking at... Oh! Oh, this is... This is Facebook streams are turning on all by themselves in front of me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right, that's pretty crazy. What I want to do is I want this article here because I was reading an article earlier today about what me and you should talk about, right? I was studying I was studying about parenting. I was studying about how to be a good dad because um, I know that some things I get right and some things... I get wrong. Can you not uh, kick the cables with your legs? Thanks. Okay, cool. Right. Um, and um, I know that I need your help with some things if I'm going to be a good dad. I need you to give me some feedback and I need you to give me some information. And, and, and here comes the bulldozer. <laughs> What's up, Jazzy? Okay, okay, lie down on the carpet there. It's probably the best thing for you to do and relax. Okay, so, uh, so there we go. So, I'm going to need your help with some stuff. Do you think you'll be able to help me? Do you think you'll maybe. be able to help me? Maybe, maybe. Okay, I, I like that, I like that. that that's kind of positive. I can turn a maybe into a yes. We can work on that. We can progress. So, by the way, if, if you're out there and you're watching, you've got any questions for Will, Will is a super brain, right? He knows stuff that nobody else knows. Really, really, he's got his own. He's got his own answers to a lot of things. Sorry, you're you're redundant now. You have to. Okay. You, 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 we don't. We don't. We don't need. You, we don't need you in the conversation for the next two minutes. <coughs> are you gonna Are you gonna run away and not come back? I will come back. I'm just gonna get more juice. Okay. Yeah, rewriting history. Okay, so I need to, I need a little bit of help. So you said you maybe you'd help me. So what I need help with is I got a couple of questions that I don't know the answer to, that maybe maybe you know the answer to. Right. So the first question is is what what was the best part of your day today? What was the Being best part? Being in the part light like saver. Being in the park flight super fighting with another kid. You were lightsaber and fighting with another kid. And having those chocolate cookie snacks in the park while playing around. Where did you get the chocolate cookie snacks from? DM. DM. So the DM here. There's not DM here, is there? DM the There's a drug D market no. shop. There's DM near the post office. Oh, near the post office. You were there. Okay. So you were lightsaber fighting with another kid, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. How did you um, how did you, how did you start the lightsaber fight? How did you how did you meet how did you meet the kid? How did that happen? Well, I was eating my chocolate cookies in a little house inside the park and I and he and he asked me something I can't remember what he asked me did he want one of your cookies was he after, was he after your cookies no <laughs> how'd you know how'd you know he wasn't after your cookies how'd you know because he didn't ask ah people don't always ask for the things that they want. First, I asked him if he w wanted a cookie, on, and mm -hmm. he just 
And he said no. He said no. So that's how I know. So you know that, that's how you know that he didn't want a cookie. Because you offered him one and he said no. So how did you and start the light? Oh, sorry. Continue. And he asked if he could lightsaber fight with me. Mm-hmm. That's how it started. Ah. Did you have two lightsabers with you? Yeah. Why did you take two? I was going to lightsaber with mom. Ah. Until suddenly... <laughs> Okay, I who's lucky. who's who's better at lightsaber fighting, mommy or daddy? I think you. Because uh, you beat me quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there are things you can learn from losing. Lots of things. All right, you're, you're making me really nervous standing next to that. After what you just did before, so give me a bit of space, okay? <laughs> Lots of stuff happening in the background that nobody in the world is going to know about except me. But uh, things, things, things that need to be done. <laughs> Speaking with a mouthful. Okay, right. I just have to imagine what that was. So that was your favorite part of the day. Okay, it's um, it's nice to talk about what the favorite part of the day was because because it's kind of a positive thing that you can share with your kids. So it's nice to finish the day on a, a positive note and try to reflect on something that, uh, that that the kids enjoyed. Who won the lightsaber fight between you and the other kid? Me. I stabbed him twice. Did you kill him? Twice. <coughs> Not really kill him. Not really kill him, but you fake killed him, killed him. Yeah, because my blade was blunt and it wasn't real. It was plastic. Yeah. With a round top. Mm -hmm. If you just 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 as a production note, if you're around the other side and doing stuff on there, it's all picked up. The click of your computer is pressing on the keys; it'll all get picked up. Okay. Okay. <coughs> just so that you know from a production perspective, if you're if you're following us on the podcast, you're not going to get all of these things that are going on here. But I'm trying to help Yanka with all and the technical stuff so that she understands what's excuse me what's yes yes well. What's the next question? Oh, sorry, was I boring you? Okay, yeah. right. Um, quite right, quite right. Move things on. Hey, people in the podcast don't really care. I'm going to mm. do the same with you. I'm just going to say, excuse me. If you, <laughs> if you find the podcast, you can uh, <coughs> get some links there to check out the, the YouTube stream or the Facebook Live video. Right. Um, I thought the podcast has the best audio. Okay, so we talked about... Are you... Are you <laughs> You're correcting his head there. What are you doing? What are no, you doing with his head? tickling him. I'm just trying to wake him up a bit. He looks like he's asleep. Yeah. You know that you're in this video, but you're just kind of not in this one. So if you're going to be in... Okay, oh. next production note. Okay, if you... If you know, I could do a whole podcast production notes How here. Podcast? How to podcast. If you're going to be in, be in. Right? That's it. Don't be half in. Because that's all fairy-like. Yeah, and you can't be all fairy-like when you do this. You've got to be in or out, right? You can't be all... <laughs> anyway, he knows, he knows what I'm talking about. He knows what I'm talking about. You're in to be in or you're out. That's it, right. Um, was that your Rumpelstiltskin impression? <laughs> <laughs> Our magic comes at a price, TV. <laughs> 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 oh, it's terrible, wasn't it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> as, long as, long as, as long as you can laugh, that's okay. I think he's giggling because there's chickens on fire in the background. <laughs> 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 right. okay. I, can, I can say the chicken on fire. You know that he's got the mic and I've got the mic, so sorry. Right. Um, you can still hear me. <laughs> you lean in like that, it's going to go woo, 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 woo. Right. It's like this weird jack in the box. <laughs> you're just, you're just going to sound distant and annoying. Right. If you're in, come, if come, come, that's it, come into the picture so that you can be seen on both streams. That's it. Right. Because we just had like a piece of your prison uniform before. And, you know, people <laughs> might think we're doing this from, <laughs> from um. behind bars. 
Right. Okay, next question. I'm sorry, Will. I, I didn't answer. Okay, next question is, what was your least favorite part of today? What was the worst thing that happened today? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe there was nothing bad that happened today, but there must be things that you liked and things that you didn't like. Nothing bad happened today. Wow. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool to have a day? But also, I had a little trouble with the slide when I was chasing the kid around. Slide trouble? What was the trouble with the slide? Tell me a bit I more. I was sliding down on my knees mm -hmm. until suddenly I tripped over and my cheek hit the ground while I was lying flat on my back with my arm out in the light sea just above it. Oh, so you kind of face planted. Yeah? Yeah. You kind of plant, planted your face. Okay. Okay. Um, I so you're looking okay th now, though. I can't see any marks there. Because there weren't any marks when I fell. It's because you're hard. You probably damaged the ground more than the ground damaged you. Right. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, she's going to either burst that balloon or knock that chair over. The chair that's the chair that I'm pointing my finger at right now. Okay. Don't try, don't there, you're going to have. Well, well, well. If you can't see, then you move to a position where you can see. Step by step. I know I sound like an annoying bastard, but I do have to explain things to people because if I don't, then they just complain that they can't do it or they don't know how to do it. So it's just the way that it goes. Um, <coughs> I've got two more questions. Well, do you think you can hold on? I can see because there are four. There's a mm -hmm. number four down there. Yanka, can you move that off the edge, please? Because it will get knocked onto the and floor. And excuse me, but aren't these... These computers look... The cup is balancing on the edge of the couch. So. These computers look like they... <laughs> mouthful, speaking with your mouthful. Okay. These computers look like they should be switched. Because the cameras look really weird when they're like this. But if, you th if they're switched, then they'll be exactly the same. Because... <laughs> Because you'll just be putting this one in that position and that one in that position. You're putting this, this is Facebook over here, well, right? This is the Facebook stream, that's what's going out live on Facebook. And over here... Is the this, YouTube? That's the YouTube stream, that's going out live on YouTube. And here, <coughs> this is a podcast. This is recording all the audio as a backup system in case uh, what happens sometimes is uh, YouTube has issues with its audio and video and Facebook as well so this is this is this is our recording of it not their recording so that we can at least have one good copy of everything so we have three streams running I tried to set up four but um, that proved to be just too complicated so what's the third question <coughs> the third question is yeah are you are you looking after the uh, the girl with the no, pirate the girl with the pirate balloon over always. there? Always. 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 Okay. Um, is there okay? Third question for you. Is there anything that happened today that you'd like more information about? Is there anything that you didn't understand, or is there anything you'd like to ask me about from from our day today? Um, I'd like to ask you a ask you a question me okay what okay. does 6098 plus 69965 equal um i'm sorry can you repeat that i can't i can't recall all those numbers so i got to use different numbers <laughs> no. well that means the answer is going to keep changing if the answer keeps changing, then I can give any answer I want. <laughs> you wanted to ask me a mathematical question? Right. Yeah, well, why a mathematical question? Why is that interesting? To see if you're good, better at math than I am. Um, 
I don't know. We're probably I probably am a little bit better because I've done more multiplication and division, and I've, I'm a bit older with more experience. But most people tend to use computers for calculations and calculators. So if people are using computers and calculators, then people are pretty much all on the same level. But if you're talking about calculating without a computer or a calculator, I'm probably a little bit, a little bit better. Um, so. Any other questions <coughs> that you would like to ask? Either me or Mummy? What does 6,065 <laughs> divided by 5... I thought you were going to ask me a really philosophical question, Will. <laughs> I'm a bit, I'm a bit um, confused by this. But this is, your, this is your mathematical approach to things. It's your sort of analytical, mathematical thing going on. So uh, I respect that. That's kind of cool. I know you like working with numbers. Oh, what's that num? What's that YouTube site that I came across the other day? Num number file is it? Is it called Number Files? A special YouTube site for kids. You're asking me. That's uh, all I'm asking the whole world because I'm doing three three live streams right now. So I think it's called Number File. It's a YouTube site where um, uh, they have short presentations on how children can do mathematics. It's supposed to be quite good. Anyway. People can check it out online, and uh, uh, if you've got any other suggestions, they can let me know. What's up, Will? Fourth question. Fourth question, absolutely. Fourth and final question. Um, were you <laughs> Zor Zora's got a question. Zora, well, what's up? How can I help you? Yes, darling? Will, don't play. Will, keep your hands in front of you. Don't play with the cable. Okay, don't touch the cable. Okay, thank you. Okay, so Zora is not going to ask the question. So the final question is: um, What kind things did you do today? I offered a, I offered a chocolate cookie, but he didn't take it. Okay, that was nice. That was a nice thing to do. Did you do any other nice things today? Did you help your sisters? Um, I wrote a letter to Becca that, <laughs> that I was trying to make it n nice. Mm -hmm. I put in mm -hmm. the word might at the end of it because I wrote... I hope I might get a Star Wars Rebels Lego. That's what, and that's where I stopped. Well, can you get the answer here, please? And I wrote other stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. So you wrote a letter to Babka. Did you post it? Did you send it? Did you go to the post office? No? Mom said not yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay, so you will post it. That's nice. That's a nice thing to do. Um, you helped me by, by getting some things from me when I needed that as well. So thank you very much for helping with that. And I'm, <coughs> I'm sure that you played with your sisters a little bit, right? I played with Zora. Mm -hmm. Did you play with... You played balloons with Jazzy as well. Didn't you? Yeah. You played with the balloons for Jazzy as well. So that was a kind of nice thing to do. That was pretty cool. Okay. So, thanks very much, mate. And I really appreciate you giving us your time this evening. Because I know that time is precious. It's the one thing we don't get back. And um, uh, any final words for the people on Facebook and YouTube? Or the podcast? Mm. Any final words? Anything you'd like to say to the world today? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Okay, so. Careful. Careful. We're going to move the mic off here. Lift your arm up there. Okay. We'll come back around here. No, don't lean on the table here, Will. Slide down off the side. There we go. Okay. Now very carefully stand over the edge. There we go. So, I'm uh, hopefully going to get Yanka to come back now. 
There we go. Are you back? Uh, half back. Half back. Because I need to move this wonderful thing here. Okay. So that I can get fully back. And I have to move this wonderful thing here. And here uh, I bouncing, am. Bouncing back. Hi, everybody. Everybody Pumpkins missed on me. <coughs> Pumpkin's on fire. Hi. Pumpkin's on fire. Welcome back. Hi. Did you solve all the problems? I did not solve all the problems. Okay. The children are still there. <laughs> <laughs> children are not problems to be solved. They're issues to be managed. <laughs> right. I'm mm. joking. Joking? I'm joking. I it was anyway, serious. kids right. are there. Kids are still there, so I'm probably going to get called off again in about five seconds. One, two. Oh, no, I, no, I can't do the counting thing because I was playing a game with Jazzy the other day where... Oh, but were you counted to five and then I she counted screamed? To th I counted to three and every time I got to three, three she screamed and it was a great joke. Now I can't count because if I can't say <laughs> the number three, she screams. So, uh, well done, Pablo. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah there wasn't behaviorism in any sense of the no, word. No, okay. not at all. What do you think about the four questions that I asked Will? I think they were very nice questions. I'd like to ask you some questions. <laughs> can I? Not guilty, it wasn't me. Right. Um, question number one. What was your most favorite part of the day today? Oh, you're going to ask me those questions? What did you enjoy the most? You're going to ask me those questions? Yeah, are you serious? Yes. I don't know if you're being serious or yes, not. Yes, yes. I can't I tell. I, I can't tell because sometimes you smile <laughs> for a couple of seconds and then go, ha, ha, ha I'm not serious. I no, I am serious. What was okay. your most favorite part of the day today? Because we're not going to get to anything serious today, are we? <laughs> we every, ev everything we do is semi-serious. Yeah. Everything we do is semi-serious, right? It, it, it's so semi-serious that I had to delete the last video. Anyway, um, my favorite part of the day today. Mm-hmm. It's coming up. I haven't had it yet. Oh. My favorite part of the day today will be when I turn off all the technical stuff. <laughs> and you sit down on your butt right? and you watch Hamish Macbeth. Yeah, exactly. That that that's I, I really need that half an hour at the end of the day to watch just just to watch something and and, and wind down. And to get um, something as well. And I, I mean, it, yeah, yeah. I I I need the. Um, I just need to turn off time. I guess some people read a book, I get it, and, and <laughs> I, I want to watch a piece of fantasy and maybe find some relation. It's funny as well. It makes me laugh. The oh, whole it's, it's the last one. was extremely funny. It's hysterical. Yes. It? So yes. And I also got to, I got to write about it in the free mail email as well today. I kind of decided to choose a less serious topic today, and I, I wrote about it. Yeah. I read it. <laughs> I wrote the book Hamish Macbeth. So, um, it's good, yes. Yeah, I, did, I did change, changed the pace a little bit because it was getting so serious last week. All the exactly, that's writing. what I wanted to say. Yeah, it suddenly became, you know, so serious. It was good. No, it, it was good. Uh, <laughs> but it was, it was good in that style, right? Yes. That It was good for that style, but I wanted to change styles a little bit, naturally. No, that was good. That because was I, good. I don't see a lot of people doing that. I see a lot of people writing in the same style always, yeah? Yeah. And I wanted to just throw in something different, change the pace a little bit, see if I could yeah. do it. It's a challenge for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's good. That's it's just like Hamish Macbeth, right? <laughs> is, it, is, is is it? Well, it is because you had two or three, two or three episodes that were that were kind of slow and dark, and then and then change of pace came, and uh, you know, it just it just mixes things up a bit. Shuffles things up a bit. I've got my hands in my pocket. I have to take them out because then I can't talk properly. Play with the camera. I need my, I need my hands to talk. Right. You. This is a name for that. It's a name for people who who are, you know, waving their arms around. Does teachers, teachers good? always made fun of that. You know, because cool. every time I was, every time I was called in front of the classroom and I had to, you know, speak. I would always I'm moving over on the YouTube video because there we go. Okay. I would always have to um, use my hands to express myself, and everybody was laughing at that because it's like I was dancing in front of the classroom, <laughs> kind of just nothing a bit like Will there. Nothing wrong with using hands. What else was good in my day? I really enjoyed sitting in the dentist chair today. 
That was great. Thank you. I, I love it. I love it when other people put their fingers in my mouth. It's, uh, you are not going to believe this, G. I know you're not going to believe this, right? I don't believe it already. But I don't even know what you're going to say. You actually like it when people put their fingers in your mouth. <laughs> you know, now that we're living here and you yeah. work from home, I occasionally get moments to myself when I get to go to the shop by myself, for example, right? Or when you take the kids out like you did yesterday. Was it before yesterday? It wasn't yesterday. The kids Was didn't get out. Before yesterday. yesterday. Did, you, did you work that one out? The kids didn't get out yesterday. Got it. Got it. Okay. Anyway. Right. I wanted to um, I said, I have an issue with that. You wanted to emphasize it. I wanted to emphasize it. I, I, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying that's your fault. Okay, I'm not saying you didn't take the kids out. What I'm saying is that we didn't take the kids out. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because okay. we thought we were taking them swimming, and, and then the swimming just never happened. Swimming never happened because of all the things that nobody can see. <laughs> because and everything no, else no, happened. Nobody hears about. Yeah. Oh, look, if I, do, if I do this, I can create a dinosaur in the ceiling. Anyway, before, uh, uh, before uh, you anyway. started working from home, right... I never basically because because of how we used to you work. You never biscuit. What? Because of how we used to Whatever. work as a family together. Function. Function. Mal, yes. Mal, I function. never ever got any time away from the kids, right? Which How's is that like for what's that like for for the average person? It must be a nightmare. I mean, I've got I've got one client. Yeah. Whose partner is working away Monday to Friday yeah. every week? Uh-huh. I mean that's that's just insane. Even even Monday to Friday they don't get a break. Not even in the evening. I mean that's just that's just no. And then and then during the weekend you just want to spend the whole time together as a family because you don't get any time together during the week, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so you just you just. You know, as much as I love to do everything with the kids, and you know that I do, <laughs> sometimes you just need, like, ten minutes to yourself, right? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um, and um, I'm, I'm warning you now, because if mm -hmm. she touches that and knocks yeah. it over... Good, William can put on uh, William can put on Octonauts. William, come over here okay. and pick up the remote from my hand, and go and put on Octonauts. So, okay. and I didn't have my system figured out yet back then either. Mm -hmm. You know the system where system. I get up. System. I have a system where I get up really early while the kids are still sleeping. I have sleeping. a system. I always get up at five every morning. Almost always. <laughs> That's a joke. Right? It's a joke. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, like I didn't even set my alarm. When was it? Did I set my alarm this morning? No. I did. Didn't you? I got up first. This morning. Didn't I? Oh yeah, yeah, you did. You did. You did. You did. You did. You, did. you know what yeah. day it is, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Yes, you did. That's true. Oh, yeah. uh, it was yesterday. <laughs> this is the person who says, "No, you're I'm organized." It was you can't yesterday remember yesterday. You, you can't okay. remember today. Can I'm you remember sorry. tomorrow? Shut up. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, now I have a system where I can get where I get up in the morning and and da, uh, na, 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 na. I get some time for myself before what the kids that? get up, but. Before, 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 yeah, I couldn't do that because because Jasmine was still breastfed, and every time I moved, she would she would wake up and ask me to go back and breastfeed her back to sleep, so I couldn't really get out of the bed much earlier than she did because she would always get up. Do you understand? So. <laughs> Do you get it? Am I speaking <laughs> English? <laughs> I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm being. I'm being very quiet because I'm listening. Um, so I actually. Well, no dancing in the living room. Really, tonight. honestly, got into a state. Not in the evening. Do Will, the can afternoons, you, Will, 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 please. Can you communicate? Will, please communicate with your sisters about what you're doing. Good. Can you wait until he's put it on? Because he can't do two things at once. Okay. So I actually really came to a state when I sat down. <laughs> the same thing that you got with the remote. Yeah, I know. <laughs> probably got it from Jabbing me. it every time. <laughs> the screen. When I actually <laughs> sat down at the dentist in the dentist's chair for a root canal. And Ooh, I was just... Have, don't you have to have like a number of visits for that? 
And I was like, I was like, now I have an hour without having to watch anyone at all. So you're quite happy to go to the dentist. <laughs> well, I used to be, and I still actually am because. Drinking my juice. You know, it's be it's better now when the kids are older, but when you've got a toddler all the time, or an infant, or a toddler all the time, and mm -hmm. I and I've had I've had a toddler somewhere to watch for like eight years, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can't just sit and not watch, right? You have to have your eyes on your kids at all times. So it's quite relaxing for me to go to the dentist and not having to watch anybody. <laughs> Darling, why don't you go and grab a soft cushion then, sweetie? Hmm? Will, can you give her a soft cushion, please? There's plenty of soft Will, cushions hello. everywhere. Will, are you listening to me? Thank you. Can you get a cushion? Don't get any of the ones that Jazzy's sitting on. Don't take any of the ones. Don't take any of the ones. Oh, she's giving it. Okay. Oh my goodness. If Jazzy doesn't want something, then the peace has disappeared from everything. Anyone, anyway, you, okay. you, you remember when I was pregnant? I'm living in a weird movie this evening. A few I'm times, I'm right? A strange existence. Things I are happening <coughs> behind that camera. That okay, sorry. You go, you go for a checkup like every month <laughs> when you're pregnant, right, in Slovakia. I do. Uh, yeah, and well, even to have a check -up, isn't even it? there I couldn't relax because the kids would always come with me, <laughs> and I would still have to watch them <laughs> while having a check up when I was pregnant. So that was quite funny, actually. Well, it's a sign of your responsibility, isn't it? <laughs> so just the fact that you have to think about these things as well. Yeah. So so, so yeah. So um. So dentist visits are actually quite cool. You like it, don't you? Oh, I love it. Just yeah. you don't have to think about anything else but pain. That's actually quite relaxing. <laughs> you don't have to multitask for like the first time in eight years. Yeah. Okay, right. I just tried to answer all these questions <laughs> going on in the background as well. Um, I'm pretty sure that the mamas out there well, are know what I'm talking about, you especially when you've got homeschool, homeschooling, homeschooled kids at yeah, home. Yeah, despite the fact I've, I, I have these these issues with schools. There are things that I don't have issues with, right? Right. One of them is the fact that the the dentist that I visit is actually in a school. Yeah. I think that's great. I think it's great to have the dentist in the school. Cause it we used to have that as well when I was a kid. Oh, well, it's it a school this part dentist. of the world. It's something from this part of the world. Yeah. 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 We had a school dentist. Will, are you going to put on something? Will, can you communicate with your sisters, please, about that? You, ha you, have, to talk, you have to talk to them. Good. Do it. T t Just that's Octonauts, Zora. <laughs> Sometimes well, could, you could just you have to breathe. Very soon, please. please. Why? Yes, Will. Can you put it on? Can you put it on? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Soda says she just almost had a heart attack because she thought that Will was going to put on something else, I other than octonauts. I, I would have they had a heart attack. Give you heart I, attack. I would have had a heart attack if you hadn't put anything on at all. Uh, I can't speak now. Hadn't put in anything <laughs> on at all. It's not even. Should not we even get? Should, do you think we should get to this um, infographic that you wanted to talk about me to talk about today? <laughs> <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> See, this is what we, we. This is what happens when we plan to do it in the morning and we end up and doing it in, the, in the evening, and uh, it all just, it all just turns turns into. Little or no sense, also known as nonsense. Yes. Um, we, um, okay. End up having okay. easily. <laughs> We're going to get the kids commentating on octonauts as well, going on. But that's real time parenting. So, there you go. Um, well, there was the the habits of highly effective parents. Yeah. Which I, I want to talk about that, but I'm not sure I want to talk about that this th this evening. So maybe not. Maybe it's just a bit too serious for this evening. Hey, I this wanted to talk about kindergarten the other day, and I didn't get there. To kindergarten? You yes, know, you because... You never went. Well, I did go. 
but, no. but only for a few months, I think, because then I they wouldn't have you. Then I became ill. Well, my mother Did said kindergarten that. Kindergarten make you ill. Well, you know how kids when they when they start going into kindergarten or nursery or something, they usually come back with the sniffles and they and they get really sick like all the time for about at least one year until they exchange all the bacteria that that go around in that in that group of kids, right? So Is that how it works? Yeah. Kids all kids are always sick when they start going to the kindergarten and I'm not sure whether that's because that why everybody gets sick once the school term starts. You notice like in uh, mm-hmm. in in the autumn like everybody gets sick. Yeah. Yeah, like it might be or I have a I have a theory that it's actually oh, not oh, the bacteria oh. that go around the the, the the group of kids but mm. it's actually just going there just itself, right? Because suddenly it's like psychological. Yes, I think it's completely psych- well not Maybe not completely, completely. I mean, to get a bugs, right? But I think to a large extent, it may be psychological because it's a huge change for the kid, and um, it's stressful. Even even when the kid likes the kindergarten, it's so stressful. It's the neglect thing. It it it, it borders on neglect when children want to be with their parents and can't be with their parents, and parents want to be with their children and can't be with their children. Yeah, I know. And it's. Uh, it's it's mm-hmm. it's terrible because a lot of the parents have to go away to work, and uh, d- children who don't have those communicative skills and abilities yet don't really understand what's happening, you, and you can't really explain it to them at the very young age that some and kids get sent to nurseries or kindergartens. Also, also when you think about what happens afterwards, right? Uh, a parent, the parent comes from the work, mm-hmm. and. They, they're exhausted basically, right? Mm-hmm. You come back home from work at five o'clock uh, with your kid that you picked up from the kindergarten, and you're exhausted, and, and you don't have the energy to to give the full on one on one, you know, experience, and and then the mm-hmm. kid, of course, uh, being stressed out from the kindergarten, starts testing your nerves, right? A lot of parents. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 doing this. I have no because idea what I have no idea what you're talking about. You have children. no idea what I'm talking Chil- about. Children never test my nerve. Or th- all all the p- okay, most of the parents that I've ever talked to, uh, okay, tell me. I'm joking. I'm my not, not kid that, or the teachers from the g- kindergarten tell me that my kid is an angel, that she's wonderful and shares and plays nicely and never mm-hmm. has any conflicts. And then she comes home okay. and she screams her head off and she's horrible and she and she pushes her siblings around and and she's just, it's just like a different child, right? And and they're like, why does she always misbehave for me, mm-hmm. but is so great in the kindergarten, right? And they don't understand that it's because the kids feel safe at home and they need to let out everything that they've been holding in during their stay in the kindergarten. That's a great point. Because they don't feel safe with adults that they that mm-hmm. that they don't know. Well, they know that yeah, the adults, but they don't have intimate relationship with them, mm-hmm. so they don't feel completely safe with them. So they know they have mm-hmm. to hold everything back. They have to control themselves, mm-hmm. themselves, and for such little kids, controlling themselves is 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 a is an exhausting thing to do, right? <laughs> so when they come home, they relax, they chill out, they let it out. And they just vent, right? You should write an article about that because I think that that expresses exactly what happens, and so few people are able to are are able to to cut to the chase of of, of the matter and ex- to connect express the it dots. Like that. Yeah, no. Um, you need to write about that. You need to put that on your your blog. What's oh, what's, what's oh, the blog I title? Do again? that. It's Twenty One Century Mum. Is yeah. that Twenty One Century Mum? Twenty One. Twenty One Century, century Mum with a U in the mum, not an O, not an O, people. Mum. Mum. M U M. M U M. You should you should you should call it Twenty One Century M U M. Yeah. Because if you say mom, then some people are going to write M O M because because that's the way they are, <laughs> okay. right? So, you know, if you want people to find yeah. it, like all these tricks and tips, like we, as we learn how the technology works and <laughs> doesn't, as we learn how to develop the business and how not to develop it, 
then we're going to share that with everybody out there. As the yes. kids grow, we're going to share that with you as well. I was just thinking, I wish I could turn the camera around and get the kids all chilled out. <laughs> on, on the, on finally, the, they're finally chilled out. On, on the couch over there, but I can't because I've taped the ca- <laughs> I've taped the cameras. Of course, so they to the don't top, move. Top of the laptop, so they don't move. Because <laughs> all those little things, right? Yeah, I all know. those little things. Not only do we have. You should just set it all in stone, you know, so that nothing can get r- knocked over. It out of rock. Well, <laughs> they, they tried to do that with Stonehenge and that yeah. fell over. So. Anyway, the point about the kid to gadgets is. You know what happens if you drop a tablet? What? It breaks. Really? <laughs> I've never seen that happen in my life. No. Anyway. I dropped one in the bathroom. Never anyway. Mind. Anyway, so what happens am is... I, am I a door? Yeah. Okay. So what happens is... When you've is a got door, not a door? This... Oh, my God. Yeah, when? When it's a jar. <laughs> right. Sorry, please continue. So what you have, then, is the mixture of an exhausted, nervous parent, mm-hmm. Right and a wild venting child, right? Oh my gosh. And then everybody's frustrated. That's like uh, it's like uh, pouring TNT into a nuclear reactor. Exactly. And so I'm not saying it's always like that, okay? But very often that is what happens. And then very often, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> you know <laughs> there's a, there's a lot know. of frustration coming out of that equation. So, so and then, and then... Hey, and then you've got that cycle that comes up, right? And and that's where you get the uh, that's where you get all those posts at the end of the summer, going, mm-hmm. "Oh my God, I can't wait for my kids to go back to the kindergarten or back to school," right? <laughs> because mm-hmm. people don't understand me, mm-hmm. you know, as a homeschooler. Pe- People whose kids go to school don't understand homeschoolers because they're like, how can you keep your kids at home all the time? Don't you go crazy? They're these wild little beasts who will, you know, eat your head off or something. (laughs) And how can you just... I'm I'm just happy to be able to go through the weekend without killing anybody, right? And, And they don't understand that that's that's the direct effect of having the kids in the kindergarten that not only they pick up uh, habits from other children Mm -hmm. right Um, some things that they wouldn't normally pick up (laughs) if if they stayed home Mm -hmm. like for example um, for example teasing you know um, laughing at somebody else's misfortune um, hurting others just for fun, things like that. You know, th- those are not mm-hmm. natural to to people. Those are not natural to children. Oh yeah, well when they're you they're picked up in large groups. When you lock people in a small confined space, the mi- you're basically examining every activity under a microscope, mm-hmm. and so small things become big things in that kind of situation. So the classic example is, you know, one one kid wears a different t-shirt from what they usually wear mm-hmm. <laughs> people are just going to point the finger and they're going to say why are you wearing that because they're, they're they've got nothing else they've got nothing else that they they're not enough in an environment of flow where things are happening naturally yeah they're in an unnatural environment of stagnation and so they're going to pick on those little differences which is again part of where the where, where a lot of psychological bullying comes from, mm-hmm. where it's, it's not visible but it's there, it's happening. My gosh, kindergarten those, bullying is, is kindergarten things. bullying is a thing. I've got this friend called Lucia Gomez, and is that uh, her there? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Are you watching, know, Lucia? Ciao. Uh, and yeah, and um, we had a little little chat about it mm. about kindergarten bullying right that mm-hmm. that is a thing <laughs> that kindergarten bullying they bully yes. in kindergartens well, well no the kids in the kindergarten can bully each other well yeah yeah i get it i get it there's, get kid, it, there's right? this pressure they're putting pressure on each other they're copying the patterns from home and they're bringing the patterns from home yeah yeah into, yeah, into yeah, the yeah. Kindergarten. yeah and, uh, and just 
it's crazy it's crazy right <laughs> mm-hmm. so yeah i'm i'm not saying that kindergartens cannot work right of course of course naturally. i think that they can work if if they're done in an in intelligent way if you've got enough adults per per children ratio right mm-hmm. per child um, ratio. if if the teachers are engaged in mm, the interaction with children, right? Not just, mm-hmm. oh, I used to go out with Will, right? When he was a kid. And we used to go to this play area where kids from the kindergarten would come mm-hmm. uh, when it was their time to go out. Okay. And the teachers would just sit down on the bench. I've seen that. I've seen that. And, oh my God. I know what you're talking you know, about. just... Yeah. Da, 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 just chat and they wouldn't watch the kids at all they just go let the kids run free which is great kids need some unstructured playtime but they wouldn't engage they, do, they wouldn't they, get they wouldn't involved they wouldn't observe in, what was going on yeah exactly yeah. they're just they're just like I've, I've, whatever I've, I've, <laughs> I've seen I've seen that I've also seen the opposite I've seen those those areas where people are engaged and they are watching and they are observing what's happening a lot of the time and they they see those uh the psychological situations that are happening because the, the bullying is not overt. It's kind of covert at that, at that age, but it's still there. And I've seen those situations where the, they, the, the teachers just sit down and they have their chat and they're, they're not aware. Yeah. Of and often, often, you coming. know, if, if the teacher is not engaged, often they would just go, oh, well, they're just kids, you know. Mm-hmm. They don't, yeah. they downplay they downplay the the first signs of bullying, like teasing, mm-hmm. for example, right? Somebody's laughing at somebody else's oh hairstyle. Yeah, it, yeah, it leads. It and leads, they would say, "Oh, they're just kids. Up. Kids do that." Yeah, absolutely. Well, no, up. kids don't do that. I mean, I mean, my my kids don't do that because yeah. they have had nowhere to pick it up. I don't laugh at your hairstyle, right? Um, off What's wrong with my hairstyle? mostly. <laughs> I'm saying there's something wrong with this. I mean, if we. Um, if we make fun of each other, it's we do it in an intelligent style. way, and we know so that <laughs> you know we know that it's benign and and done with love, that's right? A great, that's a great word. Um, so, Zora, could you lie down on the couch normally, please? Because you think you've scared your sister off there. Just, just uh, lie down and chill out, please, darling. Thank so, you. Th- so there's nowhere, you know, we'll there's nowhere where they minutes, could. Darling. There's nowhere they could pick it up. <laughs> we need to. When when Will was when Will was first pushed. What uh, stories? Quasi are quasi stories aren't true. She's saying. Quasi stories aren't quasi true. Quasi makes up stories sometimes. In Octonauts. Yeah, maybe that's why he's called Quasi. I've, I, you know, I, <laughs> I haven't seen Octonauts for more than thirty seconds. Apart, I just, you know. Anyway, I know, th- I know that they like it, and there's lots of things about teamwork. So my yeah, point was, so I know. when Will was Will was first pushed by somebody um, when he was five, and it was it was you know a boy pushed him, he would fall down, and the boy would laugh at the fact that he got hurt, mm-hmm. right? And would and then would he would run off, and Will just wouldn't understand. We just couldn't, he just couldn't get it. You know, he was like, why would somebody laugh at someone else getting hurt, right? <laughs> because that's not normal, and but that's what the kid picked up at the kindergarten. That's 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 you know. Well, that's their way of communicating. Isn't exactly, it? and that and that that's that's what some that, teachers that would shrug their shoulders at and say, "Oh well, that's just kids. You know, that's just boys." <laughs> well, it's not. <laughs> so everything depends on the type of kindergarten, the t- type mm-hmm. of kindergarten, who runs it. You know, mm-hmm. what teachers it has, how mm-hmm. how many kids. Uh, is each teacher watching? Mm-hmm. Um, Absolutely. I've heard the, about the the, the, the the kids to um, kids to uh, what do you call people who work in kindergartens? Um, it's not a teacher. What well, the it? kids to teacher rich ratio must be good, right? I mean, yeah. talking like one to eight, maybe. I don't know. I, like I, I don't. I like I can't. I can't give you the exact numbers, but um, I can tell you a nightmare story about a kindergarten that is not that far from here actually yeah yeah one of my um one of my clients had an office next to the kindergarten and she heard the teachers shouting and possibly even hitting the kids oh yeah oh and she couldn't live with it any longer and she went to question them about it and they said 
what are you, you, are you crazy? Nothing is happening. And she said she was like 100% sure mm-hmm. that, that, that this was going on. Yeah. And she went to quiz them about it. And, you know, she didn't, she didn't have the evidence because everything was behind closed doors. Yeah. So um, that's crazy. And then she went to the parents and talked to some of the parents about it. And the parents didn't believe her. Because the parents didn't want to believe her. Because mm. then they would have a problem that they had to deal then with. Then they would have to do something. Right? Yes. So it's we're, hmm. we're talking about a, a a lot of things that can go on that people are not aware of. You need to be aware of what's going on in the kindergarten. You need to be aware. Oh, of there, there have been well, horror stories in Slovakia here's, about. Here, here's one issue I have. Mm-hmm. Right, the one issue I have is. If you're putting your children into the care of somebody, mm-hmm. how much do you know about that person? I'm not talking about are they qualified? Has someone employed them? You know, or do they have a qualification? No, I'm how much do you know about, about their character? I'm talking about yeah, 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 yeah. Who are they? Where are they from? What are their values? You can hear, are they are they religious or not? You know, what are the what are their perspectives on peaceful parenting? Yeah, how much do you really know about these people? Are they? Um, yeah, I'm not talking about just say it's a good example, bad example, but let's just let's just take say, are they from single parent families, for example, mm-hmm. or uh, that can make a big difference in people's understanding of the world and their approach to what is normal for them. So I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just saying that you have to have certain values that you want from that environment, and you can't just say you can't just accept everything as being okay. Not Absolutely. everything is okay. Not everything is normal. I can't. I can't imagine somebody bringing up my kids um, it, with a completely different set of values than what I have, right? In a in the traditional old school way of 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 shouting and yelling and bribing and mm. and I just and manipulation, which is so often used with kids. Um, well, I've heard people say things to. I've heard adults say things to children which are so blatantly not true, and the children like don't know how to react to it. It's frightening. I've even seen that in kindergartens. I actually worked in a kindergarten for six months, so. Um, I was at the. I I have a nice, nice, not nice story well, I learned, for you. I, I learned. A, I learned a lot working in a kindergarten. I, I worked in a kindergarten for six months, and mm-hmm. I was not at the stage in my life where I was a. The, a good person working in the kindergarten. Mm-hmm. Right? I was. It was something new for me, and I, to be honest, didn't didn't don't have any brothers or sisters, so I don't have much experience with kids. And kind of, okay, the, the heads at the top and the feet are at the bottom, but that was, kind <laughs> of, that was kind of all that I knew. Yeah. And so, it was like landing in another planet doing that. When I did that, I was mm-hmm. like, I think I was about 20 years old when I did that, and it was like, whoa. This is a challenge. How did you me. How did you feel about it? Did you like it, or did you feel like it's too much for you? Or was I, enjoy, annoying I, enjoyed the, or? I enjoyed the challenge of doing it. Um, uh, it was recommended to me by somebody I worked for, and they said, "Oh, you haven't worked with younger kids. You should you should, you try should go, and, go and try it and see how it works." Oh, okay, I'll try that. And um, what did I learn? Um, I learned that a lot of the kids seemed to be more confident than me. <laughs> than me I, I, like I was scared to approach some of the kids but the, the kids weren't scared to approach me mm-hmm. so so I learned that I mm-hmm. learned about neatness tidiness and organization that that children actually have a great respect for things that are organized even though they are not able to organize things themselves yes Yes, I know that. Planet, I know that. I know that <laughs> children like appreciate that. very much when things are organized and neat. But because okay, there were, there were, for example, the, they showed me in the kindergarten. There was a mm-hmm. test. There were there were two tables of books, right? Mm-hmm. And one table, you know, the books were all all over mm-hmm. the place. And the other table, the books were all neatly organized. So all the kids go to the table where all the books are neatly organized. Yeah, organized. I know. I know. I know that kids appreciate it, and I wish that I could, <laughs> that I could mm-hmm. keep their room a bit more organized. But that's very challenging for well, me. Because it's their room, so it's not really your job to organize it. Yes, but they're not capable of doing it themselves. Mm-hmm. I mean, physically, yes. They're getting there. They're getting there. But, I mean, if they were capable of keeping it that way, it would be that way, right? <laughs> 
I'm not. I'm not saying about physical capability. I mean, if I if I come there and if mm -hmm. I tell them exactly what to do, they will do it reluctantly, mm -hmm. but they will. Um, I'm talking about the, the the mental psychological capabilities, that the self motivation, the mm -hmm. they're just they're just not there. They're just not there. That doesn't mean that I shouldn't keep it tidy, mm -hmm. or it doesn't mean that I shouldn't have them involved in keeping it tidy. Um, but I don't really expect. <laughs> It to magically happen by itself, right? Okay, okay, okay yeah. that's cool. That's cool. I think you've covered a lot of nice issues there in connection with kindergarten. I think kindergarten is something that parents need to think about. Yes, don't absolutely. Just send your, your kids I don't to the kindergarten or the nursery school or. I don't. I don't. You know, <laughs> you call it. having the, having the kids at home is probably the best decision that that we've that you've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> that you've ever made for me, <laughs> <Did> I <do> that? <laughs> because I wanted I wanted to send. Well, I remember when he was three, and I was like, maybe we should send him to the kindergarten for like two days a week for four hours or something. And you said, I oh, wasn't very happy you were like, don't even go there. And I was like, okay, but you know the pressure is massive to send kids. The the social pressure is massive. But you're stigmatized if you. Uh, it's if you don't crazy. Think it's crazy. Everybody, God, and living in a small village is even is even crazier because everybody's gonna say, "Oh, where does he go to the kindergarten?" He doesn't. Why don't you want to send him? You would have some free time for yourself. Are you crazy? You've got a little baby. You should sell the send the older one away to the kindergarten so that yeah, you can so take a better care bit of the more baby. More time to yourself so you can. Smoke cigarettes. That's drink alcohol one point. That's one point. And the second point is, oh, he would be happier there because he would be with the other kids and he mm -hmm. could play all day. All day. And mm, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I mean, not sending the kids to kindergarten was a big privilege, okay? Because not everybody can can do that, and and I respect that fact. So um, I am aware of the fact that it was a privilege to be able to do that. Um, Left hand. It was also Boom. it was also the best decision for all of my kids mm -hmm. um, because they have developed great relationships um, between each other, which I'm not sure would be able if if they went mm -hmm. would be possible. Sorry, if they went to kindergarten. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know it might seem like um, at various times because we do this live real time parenting thing that. It's a bit chaotic <laughs> in the background, but uh, the kids do love each other and they do respect each other and they do care for each other. Yeah. And uh, it's almost part of the growing process. Children are often, you know, they, it's, it's, it's a pattern where a baby is born, new baby is born around the age of three. And that's exactly the age where in, when in Slovakia, kids go to kindergarten so so it very often coincides that a new baby is born and the older c child is sent away to the oh, yeah, to the kindergarten that, that, uh, and, and that the whole world is upside down then isn't it and then and then the kid just um, links that to the new baby mm -hmm. right and expresses jealousy and and uh, oh, there's there's a whole you know the relationship basically is I wouldn't say doomed from the beginning, but it's it's marked by that. Okay, I'm, I'm not saying that they're not going to love each other or anything like that. That would be stupid. Um, but it's well, a it's a problem. It creates a problem because yeah. it, the child, the older child, can make that connection, right? That oh, they've got a new baby, so they, you know, pushed well, me away, basically. Very good point. In addition to that, my issue is with borders. Some people, some parents will just say that everything is normal and seem to accept everything. And I think that as parents, you need to have borders. You need to have limits. You need to know what you will accept and what you won't accept. Because otherwise, you'll just be pushed and pulled in all kinds of directions. And that's not that's, that's not a cool example to, to, to present to your kids, I think. So, yeah, if, if right. parents don't have the opportunity to, to keep their kids at home... Um, then it's certainly recommended to mm -hmm. have a proper look at where you're sending them. Uh, check the the values of the teachers, individual teachers, because you can have you can have a great teacher and then you can have a shitty teacher, and they could oh, both you, can, you, can you know a, be you working in the same place. And you can have a teacher that can like it, 
brighten your day and enlighten your world. You know, you can have great teachers. Like we were in, we were, we were once in um, Timco, Will's former neighbor, right? Mm -hmm. Had some kind of a birthday party, and and mm. one of the kids got, you know, came that came in. They were all from the same kindergarten, and one of these kids came in and was like, mm -hmm. "Oh, what happened to your head? You had a patch on his head or something." Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Oh, it just got hurt in the kindergarten." Was, yeah, when at football, you know, and we're like, "What happened? Oh, was something happened, a squabble or whatever. Somebody, mm -hmm. somebody tripped him, or I don't remember exactly what happened." And and then uh, Tim goes, "Mom asked, well, what was, what was the teacher doing?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> and his kid says, "I was sitting on the bench and playing with his mobile phone." <laughs> right. Oh my God. So the, the modern. <laughs> so there you go. So disease. so so that can happen. That can happen. So you, so you if you, if you need to send your kids to kindergarten, kindergarten you want to make sure that I, I'm pretty <laughs> that's sure not going to happen. I'm pretty yeah I agree. I'm pretty right. sure if there was a statistical study of um, how much time, you know, real-time parents spend with their kids and how much time they spend with their mobile phone, I, I'm pretty sure the results would be shocking. Oh, I um, don't even want to go there. I've, I've, I've seen a couple of videos recently where where parents are talking to their child but looking at their phone. Oh, yeah. That freak, that freaks me out a lot. I that know, I know, I know. And anyway, um, we're going to have to... I know tidy, we're going to have to finish. I just wanted up. to make last point. Yeah, sure. Do okay. It, do it, do it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> just yeah, last yeah. point. Um, talking about... I, I just is wanted this, to... Is this okay? Is that yeah, right? that's fine. No, that's that's okay. fine. Okay, I just on. wanted to say the last point uh, that when when parents do need to send their kids to the kindergarten because they need to go to work, um, it's also a great idea to um, do the... Um, you know the slow, slow easing the children into the kindergarten. They some kindergartens offer a, a slow process where over the period of two weeks or even a month, you can uh, you start with coming to the kindergarten with the child mm -hmm. and staying there with the child. You know mm -hmm. for for four hours or whatever, okay. or you probably start with two hours and then mm -hmm. it goes longer and then you only stay for a while and then you mm -hmm. go off for a while. Right, so slowly, 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 you kind of adjust the routine and you adjust the child to the fact that he's going to be left somewhere, so that it's not, so that it's not, you know, cold turkey. <laughs> All of a sudden, you're home, yeah. and then think you're not home. You're with yeah. complete don't, strangers. You don't, want, you don't want to throw the child in the deep end, basically. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. You know, with kids, yeah. he doesn't know. Uh, Teachers, he doesn't know for God knows how long per day, like six hours a day. It's yeah, learning. not a good idea. So yeah, so if you need to do that, check on the kindergarten, check on the teachers, talk to the teachers, get to know them, we'll stop it. take them for a coffee, whatever you need to do to make to make you feel comfortable with whoever is going to teach your child, and see if you can get to a place that will allow you to adjust your child to the kindergarten at the beginning. Right? I'm sorry, I was watching Will stick his finger up his nose. I was, uh, <laughs> I was, um, Is that fascinating? I was just... Um, yeah, I was, I was... I got distracted by him sticking his finger up his nose and I was wondering how I could get him to stop sticking right. his I finger I think up his we nose. should wrap it up here. Okay. Because we've done a lot of point you talking. Made I just didn't catch. What was that? The adjusting, the adjusting period that you you want to find a kindergarten that will allow you to to um, take two weeks or four weeks or. Can you stop for one second? <sighs> well, I'm having a conversation with mommy right now. Okay, so if you wait a couple of minutes, I'm quite happy to talk with you, but you have to wait till we finish this conversation. Or however yeah. long it takes to just you know adjust the kid to the kindergarten. That was my last point. Yeah, the adjustment. Um, yes. Think about the. You know, think of anything as, think of everything as learning to swim, mm -hmm. step by step, right? I say, think about what would happen if it happened to you, you right? What? Imagine, imagine you go to a group of, say, twenty other people, where you're supposed to stay in the group and interact with twenty other people for eight hours a day, with three bosses hovering about you. I mean. It would be super stressful. It's stressful for me to just mm. meet one person that I don't know. 
let mm-hmm. alone 20 people that I don't know at the same time with three bosses hovering around me. So, yeah, th- think about that. I mean, that's scary. That's scary. It is. It's, 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 it's more difficult for the children to adjust to than we, than we, than we actually, you know, think it is. Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of it's kind of freaky. Right. So let's say, let's oh. say thank you very much for watching. Wait, wait, shall wait, we? wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? Sorry, <laughs> I'm 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 wrapping it up because we've no, been no. on for. Yeah, I've been I've been trying to wrap you up for about twenty minutes. Anyway. I'm sorry. Uh, Did you want to say something? Um. No, I've, I've very much enjoyed listening to you talk about kindergartens. It, it was a <laughs> pleasure. We should do that more often, listen, maybe. Listen to listen to those ideas. I can just I can just keep talking when once we turn this off, you know, if you like that. No, save it for the next. Time <laughs> turn everything on if I can get it all to turn on. Okay, we're going to finish with something um, a bit more light-hearted because we've discussed like. Lots Are you of going to do those jokes? Are you going to do the knock-knock jokes? No, I've done no. them before, and no. I don't want to repeat myself. That would be boring. Okay. So I've got the random uh, random question generator. Oh, uh, right. I love this. Conversationstarters.com generator, right? Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click it, and it's going to give uh, a question. And we don't know what question it's going to give, and I'm going to give the question to you. Go we're on. going to answer the question. We're going to do it very quickly, very shortly, and then we're going to do a couple of these just to get random questions in. Just Okay. Because we don't know. Just because it's fun. Things are going to go in. Okay, here okay, we go. Okay, go on then. So here we go. Random question generator. I've clicked the button. <laughs> and your question is, what was your first car? My first car. What was your first car? That's the question. Random I've question never generator. had a car. I've never had a car, people. I don't even have a freaking driving license. Your first car was my car. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. Which wasn't mine. But never mind. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> right. Oh, you can't see, can you? You don't have your glasses on. Wait, yeah. you, you, my turn, you, you my click, turn. You the click. big Will, orange button, yeah? Will, did I ask you two minutes ago to wait? Sorry. Ooh, okay. how often do you use your phone? That's a boring one. Too, well, too as, often. As, <laughs> as, a, as a phone, almost never. Okay. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, uh, what do I use? I, I used to play music most of the time. I used my phone to play music. We we used it for the first like twenty videos that we did on Facebook, right? I mean that that's pretty cool. So I, I use it I try to use it as it's designed to be used as as a multifunctional tool. I don't actually use it as a phone. And um I try to turn it turn it off whenever I don't need it. And I definitely don't interact with the kids when I'm using my phone. Okay. Yes, and right. the other way around. Give me another one. Go on. Okay. Yeah, we'll do, a, I'll do another one. Okay. Um, what is a long-term goal of yours? One a long-term. long, one long-term goal. Yeah. Of give, mine. Me, give, give me one long-term goal that you have. Uh, all relationships should do this. Everybody should go to. Everybody should go to the. Uh, give him one long-term goal. Of mine. Everyone should go to, to uh, conversationstarters.com. Hit the hit. The the random conversation questions. Right? Okay, Have one one of, one of my one of my long term goal is goals is reach as many people out there as possible. You could do that by running naked down the street, <laughs> you know that. <laughs> when it comes to my twenty one century mum thing going M- on, M-U-M. so you that twi- M U M twenty one century M-U-M. yes, um, because. I'm trying to offer support um, and maybe give a little bit of advice to mums of little kids and babies. Mum, mums the word. Wouldn't mums that be the a, word. Wouldn't that be a great title for a blog? That would be. Mums the word. Probably exists already. If one doesn't exist, there you go. <laughs> Full of good ideas. Mums the word. Yes, because... Because it's a very, <laughs> very... Quickly <laughs> change it, change it. Because it's a very uh, it vulnerable group of people that need a lot of support that is not often given. There's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of information going I'll on tell around. You what, but there's only one more group that is more vulnerable than mothers. Fathers. Fathers. <laughs> because think about if you're a woman, you're kind of expected to spend a lot of time with kids, and I'm not saying that's so good or bad, right? Mm-hmm. But if you're a dad, that there's there's no 
great expectation that you spend a lot of time with your kids. So that's true. That's a future topic, I think, definitely. Oh, that's a great topic, I think. We should, right. we should discuss that okay. next time. Right. Uh, click the button, because that's part of the fun. <laughs> Do you have any pets? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. It's <laughs> not funny. Okay, it's not... Stop it. It's not funny. It's uh, not uh, funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. I'm allergic to everything, right? Except for sheep. Except for sheep. <laughs> and ducks. And ducks. Which I should be allergic and to, geese. but I'm not. And lizards. And chickens. So all we can do is we can get a crocodile, I think, and that... that we can get a... Uh, and a sheep for the crocodile. And that, that's about <laughs> it, basically. Reptiles. That's all Reptiles, I can have. Reptiles, yeah. He right. could, you, could, you, could, you could have a... You could have a turtle. It's the, the shitty thing is that I can't go visit anybody who's... There's weird noises in the background. I think Will's unscrewing his bed, right? He's playing the egg tar. Oh, God, he's not. He's yeah, he is. The, the, the egg slicer. Yeah. He runs around with the egg slicer. He like created like a homemade egg tar. He, he get, egg he, tar. He's got an egg slicer with, with some strings on it, and he just opens it and plays it as a guitar. And he calls it egg tar. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. It's, it, it, <laughs> Sounds like a small rodent being tortured. <laughs> okay. Talking about pets. Okay. Right. Will, can you close the door of your room, please? Because we can hear that all the way through here, and all the people on the internet can hear it. Can you close your room door, please? Thank you very much. Okay. Right. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm pushing him away. I got to do this to get this finished, though. Okay, yeah, we have to finish this. Okay. And then two more, quick after quick. after we quick finish quick. this, we will we will we will go to the kids' oh, room. Oh, no, we'll just do it another time. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, finish it by saying, uh, please, 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 please. Now, I should have done this all the way through, but um, damn. <laughs> uh, www.nsa-slovakia.com. That's the website. Go there. There's lots of great stuff. Join us on Facebook. Uh, it's Graham William Hendry or the Academy of Language Therapy and Life Coaching. Uh, or there's 21 Century MUM group, oh. which you can join okay, and th get some more of me. Okay, that, that's pretty cool. There's also a Pinterest page with lots of cool ideas. Um, and uh, did I mention the YouTube channel? No, we didn't. The Academy of Language Therapy and Life Coaching on YouTube. That's Please you. Please come to us there. Ask us questions. Ask us questions. We'd like some questions so that we can deal with them in future yes. programs, yes. in future series. Yes. So um, that's about it for today. We'll be back with another practical, peaceful, positive parenting podcast very soon. And P, 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 P. Yeah, I know. I'm going to get more P's in there as well. And uh, <laughs> it'll be even cooler. It's never enough P's. <laughs> right. And more P's for the pod. Right. Um, now I'm gonna just going to work out how to shut down everything. Um, Facebook first. Facebook first. Going to say bye oh, to everybody on bye Facebook. Bye everybody at the same time. Bye everybody on Facebook. <laughs> Uh, you guys thank you cool. very much for watching speak to you soon bye bye Facebook following Facebook we now say bye bye to the podcast bye bye podcast guys speak to you soon say bye bye, bye.